What if life as we know it is merely a simulation, a carefully constructed stage set, a proposition as intriguing as it is uncanny? Now imagine this, every action, every reaction, every moment of joy and sorrow, all intricately orchestrated, much like the plot of a movie. Sounds familiar? Yes, you've got it right. This is not just a philosophical theory but the very premise of The Truman Show. In The Truman Show, our protagonist's life is exactly that, a simulation, a spectacle for others. Truman Burbank, the star of the show, lives in a fabricated reality. His world, Sea Haven, is a colossal television set, complete with its own weather system, where every aspect of Truman's life is meticulously orchestrated. Let's dive into Truman's world. From the moment he awakens to the time he lays his head to rest, his life is broadcast for the world to see. The people he interacts with, his beautiful wife Meryl, his best friend Marlon, even his neighbors, are actors, each playing their part in the grand spectacle that is Truman's life. There are scenes that stand out in their stark depiction of Truman's manipulated existence. Remember when Truman tries to break free from his daily routine, only to be rerouted by a traffic jam conveniently orchestrated by the show's director? Or when a studio light falls from the sky and Truman is quickly fed a radio news report about an airplane shedding parts mid-flight? These are not mere coincidences. They are carefully planned events, designed to keep Truman within the confines of Sea Haven. His life is controlled, not by his own will, but by external forces. He's like a puppet on strings, his movements dictated by unseen hands. The unsettling reality is that Truman's life is a simulation, a perfect replica of the real world, minus the unpredictability that makes life, well, life. His life is shaped by the whims of the show's creator, Kristoff, who plays God, manipulating Truman's world to keep him oblivious. And the most intriguing part? Truman is none the wiser. His life, filled with joy, sorrow, and everything in between, is as real to him as ours is to us. But what does this tell us about our own lives? Are we, like Truman, living in a simulation, our lives dictated by unseen forces? Is our reality, our perception of the world, just a construct designed to keep us in line? Truman's life, unbeknownst to him, is a grand illusion, a perfect simulation. But what happens when the illusion begins to shatter? Imagine, if you will, a man who has lived his life in a bubble. A bubble so beautifully crafted, so meticulously detailed, that it's indistinguishable from the world outside. This is the life of Truman Burbank, the unwitting star of The Truman Show. But then, one day a spotlight falls from the sky, quite literally, and the illusion begins to wobble. This is where the story of Truman becomes a metaphor for our own lives. How many of us after all have wondered if there's more to our existence than what we see? How many of us have felt an inexplicable sense of deja vu, or experienced events that seem too coincidental to be random? These moments, these glitches in the matrix if you will, can be likened to the anomalies that Truman begins to notice in his own world. As Truman starts piecing together the inconsistencies in his reality, he embarks on a journey of self-discovery, a journey that mirrors our own quest for understanding the nature of our existence. After all, isn't life itself a kind of simulation, a construct of our perceptions and beliefs? Just like Truman, we are all born into a world that's already been shaped by the thoughts, ideas and actions of those who came before us. We accept the reality of the world with which we are presented, not questioning the why and the how of things, simply accepting them as they are. But what if we, like Truman, started to question? What if we began to see the patterns, the repetitions, the synchronicities that hint at a larger hidden truth? Would we too start to see the cracks in our reality? Would we too begin to realize that our world, our lives, are not as random as they seem? The Truman Show isn't just a movie about a man who discovers he's the star of a television show, it's a metaphor for our own existence, it's a call to question, to explore, to seek the truth. Like Truman if we start to question our reality we might just see the strings that control us. Truman's escape is his awakening, his break from the simulation. As we delve into the scene of Truman's daring departure, we see a manifestation of a man breaking free from the chains of a controlled reality. Imagine for a moment living your entire life within a bubble. Every event, every interaction, all predestined, all contrived, this was Truman's life. A life that, unbeknownst to him, was not his own. Truman's existence was a carefully orchestrated spectacle, a simulation designed for the entertainment of others. As Truman begins to notice the cracks in the facade, he starts questioning the reality he once accepted as truth. His world, his life, is not what it seems. It's as if he's been living in a dream, a dream he's now waking up from. 
The escape scene is a metaphor for this awakening. It's a symbolic representation of a man breaking free from the control of a simulated reality. In his desperate attempt to escape, we see Truman's determination to seek the truth. This scene is a testament to the human spirit's unyielding desire for freedom and authenticity. It's a fight against the illusion, a struggle against the simulation. Truman's escape is a statement, a declaration that he will no longer be a puppet in someone else's show. But what does this mean for us? Truman's journey can serve as a mirror reflecting our own lives. Are we too living in a simulation of sorts? Are our lives dictated by societal norms and expectations, by the roles we've been assigned? Are we like Truman, merely performers in a grand spectacle? In his quest for truth, Truman breaks free from his simulated life, giving us a glimpse of what breaking from our own simulations could look like. His escape is not just a physical departure from a fabricated world, it's an awakening, a liberation from the confines of a contrived existence. It's a metaphor for the awakening we all seek, yet often elude. It's a powerful reminder that the pursuit of truth, of authentic living, is a journey worth embarking upon. The Truman Show isn't just a movie, it's a metaphor for our lives. You see, The Truman Show, with its constructed world and manipulated protagonist, is a striking representation of the simulation theory. This theory suggests that our reality might not be as real as we think. In the same way that Truman Burbank lived his life in a fabricated world, curated and controlled by the show's director, we too might be living in a reality that's been constructed for us. Life, according to the simulation theory, might be a meticulously designed program, where every event, every interaction, is preordained. Consider Truman's world, Sea Haven. It's a perfect little town, where everything is in order, and nothing ever goes wrong. Isn't that similar to how we perceive our world when we're young? We see it as a place where everything makes sense, where there's a reason for everything. But then, as we grow older, we start noticing the inconsistencies, the irregularities, just like Truman did. Then there's the concept of free will. Truman, despite being the show's protagonist, had no control over his life. Every aspect of his existence was manipulated by unseen forces. Does that sound familiar? The simulation theory suggests the same about our lives. We might think we're making our decisions, but what if we're just following a script that's been written for us? Moreover, Truman's journey to discover the truth about his world mirrors our own journey in life. Just as he questioned his reality and sought the truth, we too question the nature of our existence. We seek answers, we seek meaning, and the simulation theory provides one such possible answer. In essence, The Truman Show serves as a cinematic parallel to the simulation theory. It presents a world that's not all it seems, a protagonist whose life is not his own, and a journey towards truth and self-discovery. Just as Truman lived in a constructed reality, we too, according to simulation theory, could be living in a reality not of our own making. So what can we learn from Truman's journey and the simulation theory? From Truman's tale we glean insights into our own realities, unearthing parallels between his life on screen and the potential simulations we could be living in. In both cases the world is a stage and we are but mere players, unknowingly cast in roles we never auditioned for. Our discussion has highlighted how The Truman Show can serve as a powerful metaphor for questioning our reality. It encourages us to push the boundaries, to challenge the status quo, and to seek truth beyond the illusions that may surround us. This film in essence, implores us to break free from the confines of our own sea haven, a world that could very well be meticulously constructed, monitored and manipulated. It nudges us towards the realization that our lives may be more scripted than we would like to believe. But more importantly, it inspires us to seize control of our narratives, to rewrite the scripts we've been handed, and to steer the course of our own stories. It imparts a valuable lesson, that freedom lies in embracing the unexpected, in deviating from the script, and in living life on our own terms. Whether or not our world is a simulation, The Truman Show encourages us to question, to explore, and to live a life unscripted.